Hey guys, it's John. You are on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel and you're on the playlist knot tying. I've got a jig I'd like to show you. If you're familiar with my prior videos, the Mishikan is my favorite friction hitch. Typically, in moving rope systems, we employ a friction hitch on the moving side of the system and it absorbs half of our body weight. As we use friction hitches for other applications where we might be putting our full body weight on a friction hitch, well, it's a natural property of, of most hitches and, the, and they, they all vary a bit. But the more load we put on them, the more they jam, the tighter they get. If you've ever put your full body weight on a Prusik, and I'll be demonstrating that, it can really bind up kind of tight. And, and the meech, as we call it, really stays fairly consistent. However, as you put your full body weight on it, it gets a little tighter than half your body weight. And what this jig here is, a double Mishikan, constructed out of a single piece of cord, absorbs our full body weight, but because it's balanced, half of our weight is on either hitch. And I'll just demonstrate that real quick. I'll, I'll put it up, I'll sit down, it's got my full body weight on it, and I'm just gonna demonstrate how easy it is to move after you've loaded it with your body weight. With just two fingers, I can break that and move it up. Load it, push it up, two fingers. Relatively easy to move. And it's also breakable under load. If you got your body weight on this and you're getting ready for a rappel, you can break this under load. So let's, for perspective, let's compare. I've got a couple of Prusiks here on the line. I just wanted to, to compare them because the Prusik is a great uh, basic hitch, easy to tie, extremely reliable, but it binds really tightly. So just loaded it the same way. Now, if I try to move that with two fingers, I, I can't. I, I've got to use both hands or, or loosen it to get that moving and, and, and in both directions. And I've seen some videos of folks who are uh, using a two Prusik technique to climb uh, anything from mountains to trees to caves and it's, it's pretty exhausting to watch. We've got a much better way to do that using the double meech. Let me show you another Prusik. This one's with an eight millimeter eye to eye, but it's, it's the same problem. When we put our body weight on a Prusik, it's, it's then hard, it's hard to move. And so if you're trying to climb with this kind of operation, or for my audience, a lot of them aren't climbing at all, they're using it for a tether application where they're attaching themselves to a tree and they're they're uh, in a hunting situation where they're moving from a sit to a stand and they're changing the height a little bit and they've got to work out every time they've got to move that Prusik. It's not real fun. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to demonstrate the meech, the double meech I'm calling it, uh, some of its properties and then we're going to tie one. Now, on this playlist, JRB Tree Climbing, on the not tying playlist, I have detailed videos on how to tie the Michigan and how to tie the Hunter's Bend is what joins it together. So we're not going to go into great detail here, but I will construct one for you. So now I realize not everybody here is a tree climber, but I'm going to engage my guard a hitch foot loop. There's a separate video on that. This is something I use for my JRB climbing system. And that's the climbing system which evolved and, and replaced the one you're seeing. What I'm going to demonstrate is how easy it is to do an SRT climb with no mechanical devices using only this friction hitch. So I'll do that real quick. Step into the system and this is going to look real similar to the JRB climbing system because all we do is engage the guard hitch foot loop, we stand, shove those knots up, and sit. And there's different techniques you can use for, uh, for advancing the hitch. For example, I can, I can stand, put one hand higher, and shove them up. But did you see how easy that was to move them? See how easy that is? Imagine doing that with a Prusik. And I've intention, intentionally chosen a tree today where my feet aren't on the tree, because typically this would be a little bit more difficult climb for your average rope climber. 
you see how easy that is. I'm using one foot and one hand to stand, throw this hand up above the pitch. I'm balanced, I'm comfortable, no heroic strength here. Shove that up, sit. I'll do, do one more move and then I will repel. So in terms of the repel, you, if you know my climbing systems, you know I'm a fan of the Munzer friction hitch. And so I'll demonstrate that first, but then I'll show you in this very, very short repel how we can do a very crude repel on the friction hitch itself. So I use two bridges on my system so I can physically separate my points of attachment to the rope. Take the slack out of that. And now watch, my full body weight is on the double meech. I just reach up and I break that. Now it's broken. And now I am repelling on the munter. I was come down nice and slow and burn off my friction very slowly. Now let me show you real quick how you could repel with just the hitch. And maybe use your foot as a really crude friction device. Now I'm going kind of quick here with the climb. You don't really need to pay too much attention to my foot loop and how to engage it. The reason I say that is because there are videos on all of that under uh, my playlist for the JRB climbing method. Let me just go up a little bit here. Again, we're just demonstrating the properties of the hitch, not the climb. But I'm not a fan of uh, repelling this way, but just to demonstrate the properties of the hitch, I just put a little friction there on my foot. You can come down with just the friction hitch. Just the friction hitch is enough to bring you down. So it's a kind of a, uh, a crude but effective means to SRT climb with no mechanical devices except rope, cord, and carabiners. Okay, so that's the double meech and its properties as it's supposed to be a knot tying video. So let's tie one. Okay. In my so by the way, this is Samson Predator rope. I think it's 11.4 millimeters. Don't quote me on that. This hitch cord is Yale B-line, 8 millimeter, extremely heat resistant, really great cord. This is a Sterling 7 millimeter standard accessory cord. And, you know, there's no endorsements here. This is just good products from good manufacturers. But this, these techniques work with, you know, any quality rope and appropriate hitch cord. We generally use a ratio of, uh, you know, 75% is a good ratio of the hitch cord being smaller than the rope. It can vary 60 to 80. So in this case, I'll be going a little smaller than 75%, but it should still work. So what I've got here is six feet of hitch cord. And so I'm going to, I'm going to, construct that jig. Now I'm going to go kind of quickly because again you can research on my channel how to tie the Michikan and I use a five wrap variant typically. Put the rope behind it. One, two, three, four, five. I drop it back behind the standing end and loosen the bottom loop and bring it up. There I have a single meech. And now I'm going to create a second niche, and I'll make this one below the first. And I'm guessing a little bit here with my distances in terms of what's going to give me a perfect loop size, and then I'll, I'll tune it when I'm complete. So I'm going to make another niche in the same fashion. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it behind the standing line. I realize knot tying always looks complicated when you're not familiar with them, and I've been doing them in a while, but again, we've got separate videos on that. And so now, I am going to join this side using a hunter's bend. And I've got a video on how I tie a hunter's bend. I do it in this fashion, with an overhand knot. This goes through the center of the knot. I do this in my sleep. So, don't consider that a full tutorial on how to tie those two hitches. 
but that's a Hunter's or, or also known as the Rigger's Bend. And now you'll notice they're slightly different sizes. And so I'm going to feed a little slack into the bottom hitch until I get them roughly same height. See what we got there? And I'll connect to that. Brand new. And we'll load it. And just to test it again, we'll, we'll give it a little climb. In case you're wondering, this is a, these are one take videos for me. I like it to be real. This is exactly how long it takes me to do these things. And uh, if I make a mistake, you'll watch along with me. Okay. Go up, up a couple steps. trying to decide which one I like better, the 8 or the 7. They both feel about the same. Okay, well, there you have it. The double Michikan friction, friction hitch. Now, again, I... I offer you this information not knowing if some other climbers used this kind of a jig before. And if that's the case, if you're aware of that, please leave me a comment. I'd love to, to give credit to that individual. I'll take this video down and, and redo it and start with that credit if necessary. But that's the kind of funny thing about climbing it and, and knots. It's all public domain and so it's often difficult to find uh, everything that has been discovered and has been shared. But uh, for all of you still using the Prusik or trying to pick out the perfect friction hitch, especially if you're putting your full weight on the hitch, I really recommend what we're going to call the double meech. Thank you.